Right, well in all this dry weather, all the ponds have dried up, but sadly there's a bird stuck on the mud in the middle of one of these ponds, so we're going to get a bit muddy to say the least, I suspect. Let's go and have a look what's going on. Let's go and see. Whereabouts is it? Just down here somewhere. Oh, he's there. Yeah, I can see him. Both boot up, we never know what we're going to need. If it's more than six inches deep, I shall stop. We don't want you disappearing up to the neck, so you can stay there. Just worrying its head's in there, Tom. Yeah. yeah. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, I think we, let's do it on a rod, Laurie. It's going to be deep. How much further in front of you is it? About three and a half, four metres. Okay, let me get a six metre rod. Okay, I'll stay here. Not that I can move. It'd be quite nice for the cameras if you fell in. Oh, the smell is interesting. Is that going to get you there? Yeah, that will. If not, I'm just going to be waiting. That's why you give it to me. Yeah, because I don't want to get muddy. Off you go. Cool. Do you want me to do it? Yep. I don't intend going head first down in that crap. I can chuck up these rocks in if that. It's, there's like a ledge where it suddenly drops away. Just needs to be right on the edge of it. Hello, bird. Come on. There's no structure to this. Come on. So easy when you know how. Reminds me of my sewage works one. But it came out, flapped its wings, and I got covered in sewage. Hello. You make it look so easy under my expert tutelage, Laurie. Now hopefully he'll fall flat on his face in the mud when he picks it up. I'm going to close the net down, yeah? Yucky, make sure you wash your hands. So my hands are you right? There you go. Yeah, look at that. Right, one very, very muddy magpie. For some reason, I don't think I'm going to be allowed in the car on the way back. Yeah, it's nice being the oldest one and the senior one. I can make everybody else get dirty. And I say reasonably unscathed-ish. I think I might need a shower. <laughs> Right, muddy thing. Let's get you cleaned up. Come on. Right. Hello. Hello. I have a large ball of mud in a magpie shaped package. Okay. Can you get you through the box then? Yeah. <laughs> You'll always find a way. So I think given the shock and trauma you've just been through, we obviously don't want to wash him immediately. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'll we'll do is just try and Clean it from his eyes and his mouth, give him some fluids, and then later in the day, or once we're happy that he's stable, we'll yeah, cool. give him a wash. And the bones of both wings feel okay. That's good. Which is good. Just check your legs as well. It seems to have had quite a lucky escape considering how deep all that mud was. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty clean, so I think I managed to keep his head up. And calm down then. Yeah, well, I'll get him some fluids now. We'll just, yeah, I'll probably go in the lease an hour just to, just to chill before we do anything dramatic. So, Bert's been coming down in the incubator for a bit, and our vet's just washing everything off just to make sure that all of that mud is removed. So we've got to be quite quiet, so it's quite a stressful procedure. And it'll be the first of several that we do to try and get all of that mud off. And just be a bit of R&R, &R, wait for the feathers to re-waterproof, and then hopefully it can head back to the wild. Right, fella. So we're just down the road from where you were stuck. And it's freedom time. Right, so this looks like a nice spot, nice bit of elevation for him to go off. And hopefully he can enjoy freedom again. Alright buddy, you are now free, although you may not realise it. 
Wrong way. There you go. Bye-bye, fella. Right up into the tree. Well, that's fantastic to see, going from a sticky situation just over there just a few days ago to back in the wild, healthy as ever. So, best of luck to him, and hopefully we don't see him again. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.